That was um, horrible, but I'm late. So we're gonna have to make it work. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I didn't even turn the car on. So hey guys! The quality is always like, it literally makes me look like a cartoon when I'm in low light for whatever reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just get out of my parking spot so you guys can, you know, see my face as if anybody so we are starting this video late are, are you guys surprised i would hope not if you are you may be a new watcher so hey my name is azzy i'm 18 years old 19 in 26 days the day i'm filming this but this video is sponsored so it may go up maybe at least a week after i film it so today's video is sponsored by functional beauty thank you guys so much for sponsoring today's video so i literally can't wipe the smile off my face because Girl, I am so excited. So you guys may have heard me talk about Function of Beauty before, but what you haven't heard me talk about is their skincare line. Yes, Function of Beauty has created their own skincare line. And you guys may or may not know that Function of Beauty is already all about customization. You know, making your products your own that are literally created for you specifically. So they took that same concept and applied it to their skincare products. And now we have Function of Beauty skin. So this is what my Function of Beauty skincare products look like. They didn't have to go this hard. When I tell you these are the nicest, literally the nicest looking skincare products I've ever held in my hands, I've ever owned. What company is doing it like this? So we have the cleanser. And as you can see, these bottles are like slightly ombre. These bottles do also have my name on them. And then we have the serum, which fades from a teal to like a purple color. So basically for you to have your own customized skincare products. So let me put you on. The way that this works is basically you fill out a super quick and easy quiz. That's basically just going to ask you questions, ways that you can customize your own skincare routine, personal preferences, things you may want to improve with your skin. Um, if you have dry or oily skin, you can pick, you know, certain products to be more moisturizing. Anything in that realm when it comes to customizing your skincare. Function of Beauty makes it super easy to do so. When I tell you the amount of combinations that they have, the amount of combinations you can create. Function of Beauty literally has the world's most customized skincare with 3.1 billion billion 3.1 billion different combinations for you to choose from so you cannot tell me that you cannot find a combination that is created just for you when they literally have billions and billions they got me with the billions like what other company is doing it like that I I'm still waiting a lot of these other customized skincare brands They make you feel like you're customizing your own skincare, but really they're just providing products that already exist You'll go to customize your skincare and they'll send you a product that was already made But the way that function of beauty is different from these other customized skincare companies is that function of beauty literally custom blends a cleanser, a moisturizer, and a serum just for you, created for your goals and your skin type. So the cleanser comes as a jelly and a micellar gel. I personally have the micellar gel and I absolutely love it. And the moisturizer comes as a gel, a lotion, and a cream. So let me show you guys, you know, something that is so top tier about Function of Beauty skincare. I just want to take an appreciation moment for this serum bottle. I've literally never seen anything like it. I don't know how they came up with this, but basically, you guys see how the top has like this circle cut out, right? So so it's not just for looks. So basically as you twist open the cap, if you guys can see, the circle slightly, like it starts to lift, right? But not only that, basically what it's doing while it's lifting is absorbing product into the applicator. And then whenever it's time to use it, you press down on the button and it dumps out. And then as you close it and twist it back up, this circle goes back down, which is also absorbing more product into the applicator. So the next time you use it, it's ready to go. They did it again. They did it again. The feeling of these bottles is such amazing quality. They're like this super, super thick plastic. I literally almost thought they were glass. Y'all hear that? Like the quality, the quality of the products, both exterior and what's inside are absolutely amazing. I've been using these on my skin nonstop since they have been sent to me. Literally in love with these products. I'm getting ready to use them now. So your girl has a limited offer for you guys, right? Function of Beauty has allowed you guys to get 10% off of any skincare bundle and a free selfie spa headband. Like you get a free headband that you can use when doing your skincare or whatever you want to do. All you have to do is click the link in my description box and I'm so excited to share this limited time offer with you guys because these products are so good and you don't want to miss out and the fact that they're giving you guys a code for you to get money off of your order is literally insane so thank you so much for function of beauty for sponsoring this video i absolutely love these products like just look at them they're so cute
Wait, am I supposed to take this exit? Okay, no. I was about to freak out because I was like, I already missed my turn to get in that lane, babes. But, um, uh, hey guys, good morning. It's 11 o'clock. Right now, I am on my way to a nail appointment, which I'm very excited about because I haven't had nails. I mean, it's only been like a couple days, but at this point, tell me why I function better with nails than I do without. The thing that people don't understand, the people that ask how do you wipe your ass are the same people that don't understand that you can get so used to nails that it feels more weird to not have have nails than it does why is it so shaky than it does to have them if that makes sense like the same way you get used to having no nails you get used to having short nails long nails start to literally become like a part of your finger that sounds weird but they start to just feel like an add-on to your finger and you just get more adjusted to working with nails but when i tell you editing these last couple of days has been heat it has been so good because the way my little ass hand can just so easily tap the you know keyboard it's amazing i've edited two videos in the last couple of days or it's maybe been like four five days but that's good and i mean i do that with nails too but it's definitely just like a really it's a much smoother process without nails because i don't literally have to stab my keyboard which is probably ruining my computer but you know we make it work but yeah i'm on my way to my nail appointment right now and i'm so excited about this set because i've had it in mind like i've had this exact style in mind for the last couple of weeks but i've either like canceled my appointment or you know had to push it back like yesterday i had to push it back because i had things to do that were more important than getting my nails done so i had to get those things on first because they had due dates and you know the nails could wait because i could always get my nails done honestly yesterday i was stressing about this video i was like i don't know what the hell i'm gonna do like i literally do the same shit in every video i love what i do on a daily basis but i feel like it can get tiring for my watchers you guys because i mean me actually doing it and not recording it that's different i don't give a fuck but like whenever i'm actually filming it and editing it and uploading it i realize wow Y'all ain't tired yet? That was like my thought process last night and it was kind of stressing me out. Well, basically in today's video, I'm gonna take you guys through like my next couple of days because today I don't have too much going on, but I want this video to be somewhat lengthy and somewhat interesting. I think Final Cut has a stabilization feature and I really hope it does because this camera is shaking like no other. Yeah, today I'm not doing too much other than getting my nails done and then I wanted to clean, not necessarily deep clean, even though there's things that need to be deep cleaned. That's another problem for another day. But today I really wanted to clean clean out my refrigerator because I opened it this morning and something was stanking. Something stank and I don't know what it was and I know there's shit in there that is more than expired. So I'd love to go through that today and just get rid of anything that I don't need and really see like what I need to be, you know, cooking now before it goes bad. I got this bomb ass piece of salmon from Trader Joe's. You guys saw that, right? It's probably bad now and that sucks because that shit looks so good. But I'm gonna look at the expiration date when I get home. Besides cleaning out the fridge, I may, if I'm feeling really productive, I may clean underneath my sinks because baby it's the same problem not the expired food but it's just messy it's so cluttered and i don't even really have space for the amount of products i have underneath my sinks i have like a what do they call the two sinks i don't know but basically they're both mine now you know i have more room for my shit but it's still not enough room so yeah if i'm feeling really productive i will you know get that done today that'll be fun and then i also have a litter box that needs to be cleaned really bad and you may be thinking azzy it's a fucking litter box like it's just scooping poop out of a box no baby this litter box that i have is called a litter robot this shit is a machine and basically the way it works is like after my cat's shit in it normally what it's supposed to do like after the cat's poop in it it will like sense that they were in the litter box and then rotate the poop out itself and dump in like a bag underneath the litter box but since my cats don't reach the weight limit yet since they're both still kittens i have to go in and like cycle it myself anyways that wasn't important and had nothing to do with the main topic whatsoever but basically i need to clean it and this litter box is literally a task that i need to prepare for to clean because it is a fucking machine like i said i have to completely take it apart and clean it in the bathtub and then like clean out the bathtub because obviously i don't want no musty crusty busty booty ass nasty smelly ass bathtub you know what i'm saying so that's a process in itself that needs to get done i'll definitely do that today because you ain't never gonna catch my place you know stinking for more than like 20 minutes because you know after the cat shit and i clean it it takes a little bit for it to not smell like ass again but that's not how we live it that's not how we roll it i don't care i don't care so i'm on the way to my nail appointment now i'm supposed to be taking this exit almost missed it um that was fun um <laughs> not the adrenaline jackie yeah i'm really excited for the nails i'm getting done today i've never done anything 
like it. I mean, I've done something similar style, but not nowhere near. This shit about to hit different, and I'm really excited. I need hand lotion because my hands are dry as fuck. Where'd it go? Because I know I have it in here. Here it is. But, um, oh yeah. So I told you guys what I plan on doing today, but I didn't tell you what tomorrow's plans were. Do I have plans tomorrow? So tomorrow, I reached out to my older brother because I was telling him, like, we should hang out. And he said he was down, so we may do something, like, earlier in the day tomorrow. And the reason why it would be earlier in the day is because my brother's birthday, Simeon's birthday was super recent. Let me take off my ring. October 8th was my brother's birthday. We celebrated that not too long ago with friends and family. We went to a Japanese steakhouse. It was a lot of fun. It was a good time. You know, a nice family bonding moment, but you know, also celebrating Simi's 17th birthday. So along with that, oh, you guys want to know what I got him? Anyways, for Simeon's birthday, I got him a Shadow Ones. And if you don't know what those are, they're Jordan 1 in the Shadow Gray colorway. They're like black and gray. They're really nice. And he's been talking about them for quite a bit. Just saying, like, if he could have any pair of Jordans, it would be these shoes. And they would literally go with everything. Um, so that's what I decided to get him for his birthday. I really hope this is taking me to the right place. Let me, t like, close the directions. It's not. Wait, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Who? I was about to freak the fuck out. I was like, I'm already going to get there at 11.33. That, that would be terrible. It's just taking me a different route. And I don't like it because it's not, you know, setting me on the highway a majority of the way. And that's how I like to drive. Like, who wants to drive on a one-way road where, like, you're forced to be behind another person? You know, majority of the time, they're going below the speed limit. Baby, that could get you a ticket, too. So, what are we doing? So today it's more on like the rainy slash gloomy side and I actually absolutely love it because it just reminds me of fall. It's so pretty outside. The leaves are starting to change. I don't know if you guys can see them. Majority look green, but there's definitely some color popping through. Okay, North Carolina, we see you. We don't. It was a cute attempt. It's like gloomy and it was drizzling a little bit earlier and I don't mind it whatsoever whenever it's not humid. If it's humid, yeah, the rain, it, it's gotta go. But if it's cool outside like it is today, it's 66 degrees outside right now, which feels so nice. It's literally, this is fall. This is fall. And I'm very appreciative for it because yesterday it was like 80 degrees and I was not feeling it. Did I even go outside yesterday? I did a little bit just to walk like from my car to another building. Oh, I'm supposed to be making a left. I should probably look at the directions. I'm super excited to get my nails done. It's gonna be a good time. So in that case, I'm gonna go ahead and finish, you know, getting to my destination. We have 19 minutes and I'll talk to you guys once we get there. I don't feel like putting those back on. True. Um, let's see. Shit, it is. Alright, guys, so my nails are done. I'm playing. I need to get my tripod because, sweetie, these angles, they ain't, they ain't working out for me. I literally look ridiculous. And I'm talking to myself. Yeah.
<laughs> wait, the, wait, 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 you gotta put it on the shirt. You gotta do it on the shirt. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I never knew about this. I gotta put my rings on. <laughs> End the video. We're done here. Please don't put that I will. <laughs> I'm like, I know she will. She'll be like, didn't she just say don't put it in there? Oh, not her with the rings. They're cute. Oh, thank you. So oh, this one's so pretty. Thank I you. That. I got them from Pandora. Oh, yes. Y'all didn't know about her. Wait, the shirt. It's Nike Cow. Y'all don't got it. Y'all can't get it. Y'all don't know where to get it. Wait, what is this? Did it say your name? On this? Is yeah. This awesome? That's yeah. cute. Thank you. Y'all don't know? <laughs> Mama. Like, you don't know what to do. Girl. <laughs> Not you speeding. Okay guys, so I just got out of my nail appointment. My nails are done. If y'all didn't catch the set while I was inside, this is what they look like. I basically got French tip with Louis Vuitton on the tips. The rainbow Louis V. It, they, they are so cute. I've had this vision in mind for a while and I'm so happy with how they came out. She did a bomb ass job and I literally love them. Okay, so what I'm thinking, whenever I was inside, I was on Instagram and I saw somebody with an acai bowl. Yeah, see, that's what we need. That's what I'm trying to have right now. So we are about to go downtown and go get an acai bowl because I haven't had one in so long and I feel like that would hit so hard right now. I know their actual food options aren't the best. At least the last time I was there, they didn't really have like too many food items that I feel like would actually fill me up but you know we're gonna check out the menu see what they got but I most definitely want an acai bowl so we're definitely gonna go so in that case I'm gonna go ahead they're probably like why the fuck she's still parked in front of the house I'm gonna go ahead downtown because that's where this place is I haven't been to this place in so long it's called the Raleigh Raw and it's in downtown Raleigh the last time I went was actually with Lee back in December I included it in the video I did where I like tried new curly hairstyles for a week like the first original video I did I don't know where the fuck I'm going yeah we went then and that was the last time I went but I kind of forgot about it and now I'm really excited because I haven't had an acai bowl in a while and then also it's just a super dope spot I should have brought I was about to say I should have brought my laptop to edit something but I have nothing to work on but you know maybe we'll just chill in there for a little bit if they do have actual food if not then I'll just bring an acai bowl home so we'll see you guys are coming with me so we'll just see once we get there I've always heard things about how traffic lights are so fucking big, but I've never seen one close enough to realize how big they actually are. And when I tell you this shit could probably fit my whole entire body length, it's fucking crazy. Y'all can't really tell, but that shit is huge. So I'm back in my car and I'm very thankful for that because when I tell you downtown, I already going to sit alone. Downtown, my tongue is blue from this drink but downtown child i just be looking behind my back 24 7 like i don't care who the fuck walking behind me next to me i don't care people in downtown just be sus so what you guys just kind of saw was me going to that restaurant that i was telling you guys about not really a restaurant but they got the goods and uh so basically you weren't able to go inside they could serve you and you could eat outside there was like a couple outdoor tables so that's exactly what i did that was so nice like when i tell you i'll be going on dates with myself all the time you know it was a cute little brunch date it's not brunch, it's 4.30. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing for dinner. That's why we need to clean out the fridge so I can figure out like the options I actually have. Cause that food was cute. Y'all saw my little sushi burrito, that was cute. But um, I'm still hungry. Basically at that little, you know, food spot, all of their food is raw and it's good for you. I don't think they sell one food item that is actually cooked, hence the name of the shop, which is Raleigh Raw. So basically I got what was really similar to an acai bowl, but I'm pretty sure I got the option that was vegan. 
or not vegan but like it didn't have dairy in it actually i don't really know i actually don't know the difference whatsoever other than the um other than the consistency being a little bit different the one i got had more of like a yogurt consistency and she was saying that the other one i'm supposed to be taking a left here. oh never mind that's the next light but she was saying like the original one was more of like a slushy type consistency which i think i would have liked a little bit better but either or it was good so that's cute and then i also got what was called a sushi rito which was like a burrito but they wrap it in seaweed so it's like a sushi roll ate that it was really good was it filling no was the experience cute yes you know the food was good i'm just still hungry but it did tide me over to at least like once i get home i can start getting things done because i'm sorry but i can't function on an empty stomach i cannot function if i have not been fed i've not fed myself in that case sis had to eat something put something in her system but along with that i got this lemonade and it's literally blue and it's cool because it tastes like regular lemonade like it is just regular lemonade but they put something in it that's blue i'm not sure exactly um so i was supposed to turn there i stay missing turns downtown like the roads are so tight and the turns come up so quick that i just lose my spot i miss turns left and right it has like a certain ingredient in it that's like really good for alkalizing your body is how they explained it and it's really good for you but I forgot what it was called. It started with an S, but I'm gonna put it on the screen. I'll just look up their menu online and like tell you guys what's in it because I forgot. This lemonade, it's not really sweet. It definitely tastes very lemony and more on like the healthier side. Like it just tastes like squeezed lemons, but it's not super sour. So there has to be like some sort of sweetener in there, but it's pretty good. I like it. It's really refreshing, which is nice. But literally everything I ate, I can't make a left here. Literally, oh my gosh, that's so weird. I just drove past people that were like standing close to me while I was eating at that restaurant. They were like waiting for their food, but they weren't like sitting down. They were just standing near my table waiting for their food. They got their food and they walked away. I had my whole meal. I sat there, ate a whole meal. I'm going to leave and I just drive past them walking on the sidewalk. I just thought that was weird. But yes, this is down child at this point i'm just talking i'm on my way home now it's a 10 minute drive so not bad at all the hardest part is just getting out of downtown because like the roads are so tight and so short like before you get to another light and then i won't know until last minute i'm supposed to make a right and then i just can't but thankfully all of downtown is so connected that like once you miss a turn you can basically just take the next turn and it'll like put you there but i'm gonna go head home and at least clean out my fridge oh and clean that litter box because it's bad you know just get a little bit of cleaning done a couple tasks done that need to be accomplished that's all i really need to do today that will make me feel content with my day so other than that we just gonna be chilling the rest of the day but i mean it's already 4 30 so it's like midday but anyways i'll talk to you guys once again y'all remember that really funny moment earlier in the video when i was acting as if i was gonna get cleaning the fridge cleaning out the litter box organizing under my sinks i was acting as if all that was gonna happen in the same video i don't know who i thought i was but it's already six o'clock and i've done absolutely none of that and it's not happening the only thing that i am gonna do is clean the litter box today because that needs to be done and i'm not fucking dirty but anything else i'll just do tomorrow i'll be home in the morning tomorrow i won't be leaving for hours so yeah it'll be a lot easier to get done and i'll have more time and i'm gonna to go to bed earlier tonight so i can wake up earlier and get that done earlier in the day because last night or this morning i didn't go to bed till like 2 30 because i was working on a video that went up today and i woke up early like 8 30 girl no humans don't work like that they're not supposed to function like that that's not the prime functionality definitely gonna you know just fix that tonight so for now i'm just gonna clean out this litter box but first let me check in the fridge i'm gonna just check the salmon and see if it's good there was salmon in that like sushi burrito the sushi burrito i ate earlier but it was raw but this would be cooked i wouldn't eat this raw something stinks and i'm hoping i'm hoping it's not that but i don't even know where it is like what stinks this one needs to be clean oh maybe it's these no that's not good okay it's right here it's been in the fridge since i got it i should have put it in the damn freezer it's smelling mighty pungent Ew, this shit got the skin on it. I didn't know that. That's nasty. Um, let's just open it and smell it. That smells like absolute shit. I don't care if it's good or not. It smells like ass and I'm not eating it. I'm not about to put this in me. It doesn't seem safe. Baby, I should have just put it in the fridge. I could have thawed it out and we could have caught it a day. But my dumb ass didn't and that's what I get. So that was a waste of $10. Y'all remember when I used to make whipped coffee every single morning? We're about to do it again because it's literally been so long. I guess I just forgot how much whipped coffee hits. This should be hitting better to me, in my opinion, 
more than Starbucks just because it's literally the perfect balance at least the way I make it it's the perfect balance between coffee and you still get like your sweetness factor yeah we're about to make it today it's been too long it's seven o'clock I don't care you know we're about to eat dinner we're about to have coffee with dinner I guess because I want to make this so bad and I have such a sweet tooth right now and I want it for roll-ups but don't have any left I'm not gonna do like an in-depth process here show you guys how I make it because I have shown that in a video that I'll link down below I'll still show you guys what I'm doing just not talk you guys through it But I got y'all with the other video link in the description so you guys can see how I do it But yeah, let's make some whipped coffee Oh, that smells so good. So you mean to tell me, I've been wasting $7 on each drink. This shit is fire. Oh my gosh, this is so fire. Literally the only thing I changed since I showed you guys how to do it in the video is mix cinnamon into the actual instant coffee, sugar, and water combo. And then I used the Califia Farm dairy-free almond creamer in pumpkin spice. Oh my gosh, this shit hits. This is about to make me shit too. Y'all need to shit? Y'all make this. I promise you. It's raining and it's literally so peaceful. Oh my God. I love it. See, like this is when rain hits. The sky is so pretty. I'm leaving the balcony door open. Bentley, how you feel? You like the rain? I think it like just started raining because this is like just starting to get wet. I didn't hear it. It's like pretty calm. Louis's too bougie to come outside, I guess. He normally doesn't come out. You don't want to come outside? So this is my dinner. I pretty much eat the same thing every night because when I find something that works, I'm just going to stick to it until I, you know, put in enough effort to find a new meal. But here I have some tilapia. I have sweet potato, which I literally eat pretty much every single day and broccoli and then I'm drinking water because I already have coffee so I don't want to like mix that with any type of like juice or anything but yes I'm so excited to eat this I'm so glad I like actually put in time to make dinner because it was getting late not late but like it was already 5 30 and sis didn't know what she was gonna do but I'm glad I pulled myself together and made a meal Okay, so it's now 11 o'clock at night. I'm in bed. I'm in my comfortable clothes getting ready to just not go to sleep but edit and I'm actually excited because I'm gonna start going through the footage that you guys just finished watching. So you know go ahead and start. You know this is how I like to end my nights but y'all saw me clean that litter box right? Y'all see how that's a sport in itself right? I wasn't playing. That's why I dread that shit because it takes so long but pretty sure there's bigger problems. Um, I'll be okay. But yeah now I'm in bed and I'm getting ready to you know just do my thing. That's gonna be pretty much it for today. This video is continuing into tomorrow i like how i just girl i didn't know what to film today i don't know what the fuck i was gonna do and you know i did what i do best which is just taking you guys along with like what i'm already doing and you guys don't seem to hate it so that's that's a plus yeah i'm just you know chilling getting ready to do my thing i'm gonna edit for at least like an hour or so before i go to bed and i'll definitely talk to you guys in the morning also i've been wearing my black boring bonnet recently because you guys may have seen that i got like new piercings recently and due to that being the case since the other bonnet you know cover my ears this one tucks right behind so it's just convenient so i don't you know disrupt the healing process y'all didn't ask but 
Okay, good night. Good morning. Hey guys, so right now it's 12 o'clock. It's the afternoon. I'm getting ready to go to the gym because it's just that time. This is what I'm wearing. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. So my sports bra is from Gymshark. Leggings are Gymshark. And then this jacket is from Brandy. It's like the perfect jacket for like before I work out, especially if it's cooler outside. You know, covers me up a little bit until I get warmed up enough to like take it off. But that's the outfit of the day or for the hour. And let's go ahead and head to the gym. I'm going to take my pre-workout that I don't think does anything. Um, this should be one of the last times before I order some actual, you know, products that I think are going to work i feel like even the introduction to today was hectic but like it really wasn't like girl you need to calm down it's really not that serious it's not it, it ain't um, i almost feel like i'm so immune to caffeine that not even pre-workout would do anything for me but i think i just need to try a different brand maybe that shit's expired or something um can this even expire it has to Okay, so I'm in the car now getting ready to leave and I'm putting my card. I'm taking my phone. I'm taking my card out of the back of my phone and putting it in my wallet. But it's just why you got a wallet and <laughs> your license in there. Might as well like put your card in there. I need to stop keeping it in the back of my phone because one, someone DM me and said that it can actually like mess up the, the chip to where it doesn't work. Even though it's a breeze to replace a card, that don't mean you can't save the one you got already. And then also my phone be showing in my videos too much to be, you know, having it in the back of my phone. I really need to put air in this tire. I'm gonna do that after the gym because they have like the free air. I would hope air is free, but they got like the free air pump at Sheets. So I'm gonna go there and just fill up my tire. These parking spots are so tight. This whole parking garage is just tight. I'm so glad I didn't live here like a year ago from now because baby, I would have fucked up all these cars and I don't think my insurance would cover for all of them. So. Pull up, make it, and just people mad at you. They like, oh, 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 I don't give a fuck at all. Oh, oh, oh. People looking like they seen a ghost at Camp so I just got to the gym and it started raining a lot harder on the way here. Sweetie, it's gonna need to calm down because I still need to. Yeah, uh, tire's still uh, on flat. So we're gonna need to do that. So hopefully it calms down because I'm not trying to put air in my tire in the rain. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's just head in. You know, let's just go. We don't need an introduction, babes. We we got it. All right, y'all gonna walk in with me because I don't think you guys have ever like. Fuck. I don't think you guys have ever like walked in with me. You know, actually walked in, not just meeting me once I'm in there. Bring my water. I think that's. It, I'm sore. I really am. It's raining. <sighs> Might be getting soaked before I go in. Thank you. Good, how are you? How do you say? Aslia. Thank you. Okay, so I'm in the gym now and I'm about to start working out but literally every time I walk in I like do the same exact thing Like I just have a habit of like as soon as I check in I walk into the bathroom But not even just walk it's like a fast-paced walk where it literally looks like I'm in a rush to go blow up the bathroom or something because I don't know but I do that every time and I never am like aware of it until I walk in I'm like damn why What was the reason what was the rush babes? Yeah, I don't know girl. I couldn't tell you either but I'm about to work out and I'll talk to you guys on some day So I'm back home. I've actually been back home for about an hour. And basically what I've done since you guys have last saw me was I ate. I made like a wrap that I've been making recently that's just super easy and it's good. I put mayo chub, which is like mayonnaise and ketchup mixed together. It sounds weird, but it's actually really good in the wrap. Along with ham, turkey, Munster cheese, pepperoni, and like pepper. And normally lettuce, but I forgot to put it in there this time now that I think about it. It sounds nasty, but it's good. And then I also just ate like a lot of fruit. I ate like a whole crate of blackberries, which I normally don't like like that but they were really good okay target pulling through with the good fruit that's like a once in a lifetime experience and then i also just took a shower got dressed in some super comfortable clothes i'm just wearing sweatpants and crew neck you know i'm nice and clean i sprayed my perfume i smell bomb as fuck now i'm about to leave because not too long ago i said this earlier in the video towards the beginning but not long ago like my family and some friends like all went to a dinner for simmy's birthday but now we're all meeting at my grandparents house and we're doing like cake there that's normally what we do that's what we've been doing forever like we'll always go to my grandparents house and normally my grandma will make like a cake like she makes the cake 
and it's bomb as fuck. That's what I'm getting ready to do. Probably just chill over there for some time. If we end up just like chilling after, you know, celebrating, I'm gonna edit. So I'm definitely gonna bring my laptop just so I have it because sis got shit to do. Videos to finish by not tomorrow, but the next day barely started yeah in that case i'm gonna go ahead and head that way i'm so tempted to just leave in these fucking slippers but my feet be slipping and sliding in these my toes be hanging out and i don't want to stub my toe on the cement while i'm wearing shoes like that that shouldn't be the case i'm gonna go ahead and put on some actual shoes and let's go ahead and head to my grandparents house to spend some time with some family <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna be living on the street with the way I be forgetting. Not the Chris Brown. So, the girl is currently at the grandparents' house, and I'm literally here with all of my siblings Tanil, Kobe, Simeon, Michael. I'm here with my mom and dad, my grandparents, because they live here, and also my oldest brother's girlfriend. So, we're all here just chilling. We already ate, we had cake. I'm tired, like, I'm just chilling. I'm working on a video as we speak, but um, that's pretty much it, you know, just some family time, chilling, you know, doing our thing. Miss Tanil over here. Um, she's going to stay at my house tonight. We go have a little sleepover, so I'm gonna be taking her home with me. She'll probably head back soon though, if I'm gonna do her hair. Just so we can start that. So in that case, we'll probably be on the way back home soon, but for now, just chilling, doing our thing. Here, you can vlog. <laughs> I'm gonna be driving. Why do you have two? Two what? Like two lint rollers. You can never have too many lint rollers. Tell me different. Try to change my mind. Don't care. Why do you have two? Oh, that's the broken one. But I ordered, <laughs> I ordered uh, things to fix it. I think it literally works. Or I mean, of course it works, but the camera is. There's no battery. In. Yeah, let's go ahead and start heading back before it starts raining terribly. Okay, we're going back. Ew, bro. You wanna drive? Yep. <laughs> Ew! Why is it not focusing? Uh, have you even used this yet? The pepper spray? <laughs> I hope I would never need to use it. <laughs> you want me to have to use it? No. Okay, all my cars paid off. Some houses too. Okay. The sky's like yellow. Yeah. Looks like California. Yeah. This ain't even been. I'll talk about some California. Like she ain't. Like she left North Carolina. <laughs> Baby, what you talking about California? Where did my quarter go? Job. Ew! Why does it look like that? It's like a blackberry. You know, it's a curio quality. It's the quiet music for me. It's not connected to the car. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere with all no music. <laughs> Please, underwater speakers. Hello! You're too loud in the morning. Like, I'll be like sleeping. You're like, wake up! Me? Because you'd be sleeping till the afternoon. Okay, leave me alone. Baby, you in my house talking about some leave me alone. You paying rent? Okay, and um, then it turns off. Tell me why I just spent so long trying to get this fucking Bluetooth to work to play music and my little sister is listening to her own music in her fucking earbuds. Bitch, I wanna know what you're listening to because it must be good as fuck. It must be banging. It must be a new album because I don't, I don't like that. Y'all, I've had this cat for like multiple months and I promise you he has yet to grow like at all. I mean, I don't care. That's fine. You can stay as small as you want. That's fine with me, Bentley. I'm using this like laser thing with him. But he hasn't grown. You're so tiny. <laughs> Look, Ben, Ben. It's right here. I have to go back down and get my book bag, which sucks. And we're doing your hair, so don't get too comfortable. How do you prepare to prance once and then just... I'm playing Roblox. <laughs> Tanya, smell my perfumes. Smell it. 
big strong it smells like what is it supposed to be it's not like a certain like it's called black opium this is pretty oh i like this one she likes misty your blooming okay you remember that yes this is so good that that's what i used to wear in like ninth grade i know like every day do you like this this is one of my favorites yeah is that a tester it's a sample size and what about it i thought you stole a um, sample girl i ain't never stole one thing in my entire life ever never will smell this ew <laughs> this is fucking poison girl by dior so if y'all wear this too what's they she think you stank <laughs> dr look at that <laughs> a brand see if you like this I saw this on TikTok and it's literally the worst purchase I've ever made. <laughs> it smells like B.O. <laughs> this is literally supposed to be like one of those like perfumes that like enhances your pheromones and it's supposed to make like guys attracted to you. <laughs> it does the opposite. Yeah. I've, yeah. <laughs> it smells like feet. <laughs> it really does. It's Dinks. This shit was pricey too. I'm mad. Ooh. This is a cologne. Smell this. I'm not spraying it on. Wait, you have to rub it in. It's gonna smell like straight up alcohol like that. Let me smell it on you. It's good. Oh, it smells so good. This is on um, by the brand. Actually, I don't know. All I see is. The letter D. D. I got it. <laughs> I got it at Target. It's, by, it's called Sawtooth. It's called D. Jeez, this smells so good. Child, I'm about to be wearing this every day. But then it's like, I want to have like a more like feminine scent. I don't think scents can have a gender, but you know, normally like more girls will wear perfume and more guys will wear cologne, I feel like. But you can wear whatever you want. But this is like such an attractive scent. Oh my gosh. But then like I want to smell sweet too. So it's like. And this is um like a cedar scent. Cedar? Okay, I'm gonna use this one every day. Oh wait, tell me if you like this. Let me smell like almond. This is my signature scent for the Oh my gosh. I still like it. It's so bad. Smell this. Oh, this is your signature one. This smells like baby. No, wait, smell it. Oh yeah, that's good. No matter what scent, like whenever I try to switch up my scent, like I'm always told, oh yeah, this is your signature scent. It's like I can't switch it up. Once you have a signature scent, like nobody wants you to smell like anything else. All right, we're gonna get ready to do my sister's hair. I'm about to just wet it and put some deep conditioner in it right now. It's so foggy. I haven't seen fog in a minute. I just showered, which literally feels amazing because I feel so clean. I was feeling musty earlier. Like I was just ready to get in the shower, which basically symbolizes that I'm getting ready to, you know, just chill in bed, which is one of my favorite parts of the day. Still got my little shower cap on. They out there chilling. Kind of a vibe, not gonna lie. A <laughs> vibe, shut up. Okay guys, so I'm in bed now and I've been in bed for maybe like, 30 minutes it's 12 19 and i'm in bed working on the video that you guys are watching right now so that's what i've been doing i'm definitely getting tired and i'll for sure knock out in just a little bit but i actually am in the process of just you know doing some editing but we have come to the end of this video i've taken you guys throughout my last couple of days i feel like this video is kind of all over the place but that's how it be sometimes. Also, y'all see this? I was doing my sister's um, hair, and as you could probably tell, half of her hair is pink, and um, so are my nails now. So that's a new look. It honestly doesn't look terrible. I'm not mad about it. It's just nails, honestly. It's not a big deal, and then it doesn't look horrible, so it's fine. I said we have come to the end of this video like 20 minutes ago. That's gonna be it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed me just taking you guys along these last couple of days. I feel like I'm literally just talking in a circle. So with all that being said, that's gonna be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have got all the way to the end and you have not subscribed yet, please make sure to do so. Also, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.